Today, I'll be talking about how electronic ink works. This is something which you can find in Amazon's Kindle. The thing about electronic ink is that it feels like real ink on a real paper and that's why it's so special. So it works by squeezing lots of capsules between two electrodes. Each capsule has positively charged white pigments and negatively charged black pigments. When positive current is passed in upper electrode, negatively charged black pigments are attracted to the top and when negative charge is passed in the upper electrode, positively charged white pigments are attracted to the top. That's how letters are displayed on screen and that's one of the main reasons why your Kindle only displays black and white on screen. Oh yes, it can display different shades of black and white by manipulating the amount of pigments that rises to the top. But wait, you may say, hey the curious engineer, a colored version of Kindle is also available. Well, you're right. Kindle Fire comes with color but it features an LCD display instead of an electronic ink display. It is important to note that reading books on an LCD screen is not the same as reading on an electronic ink screen as the integrated backlight may cause eye strain and headaches after reading for long periods. The good news is, according to the information available on the internet, colored electronic ink is already here but it hasn't had great success yet in the e-reader market. So I doubt Amazon will jump into making color electronic ink Kindle readers. That's all in this video. Uh, let me know what you think about this. If you like this, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment and make sure to subscribe for more videos from the Curious Engineer. Thanks.